proud of you, Nintendo. Good job, Nintendo. I'm sure you care about what we say. <laughs> yeah. And while you're Miyamoto, making you billions of dollars. I know you're listening to this, Miyamoto. Miyamoto? Oh my god, that'd be amazing. He's he's just listening like, oh, they liked it. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, this was mere moments before uh, we were going live, I found this. Yeah. So I threw this in. I could not make a write-up. Uh, I will be reading this. It was actually an update by the time I uh, put this up, so I'm actually glad I didn't do a write-up because I would not have caught this. Uh, E3 2024 and 2025 have been canceled. LA Tourism Board claims. Now, this is from VGC, read by Andy Robinson. Great, great writer, Andy Robinson. I'm always happy when I read Andy Robinson articles. is killing it. Okay, so this is according to the Los Angeles City Tourism Board, which notes in a meeting packet. This is spotted by Reset Era, funny enough. Published on Wednesday that a summary of planned city conventions includes E3 cancellations for 2024 and 2025. E3 was due to return for its first in-person show in four years this month. However, after months of buildup and uncertainty, the show was canceled in March. And of course, there was an update that I just mentioned earlier in the article that reads as such. In a statement issued to VGC, E3 owner the ESA claims that no fin final decisions have been made about next year's potential event. Quote, ESA is currently having conversations about E3 2024 and beyond, and no final decisions about the event have been made at this time. End quote. It's pretty much everything you need to know about the article. As a reminder, Reed Pop recently bought E3 under their wing. The same people do these PAX events and uh, these suches. So I long said E3 is pretty much done for and gone not really relevant anymore um i think this year is more evidence of that unfortunately uh, i say that as a guy who has loved e3 and i would have loved to have gone at least once before it was actually gone but they do say it's no final decision i don't really believe them i don't think they're going to be here for at least next year very bottom line because these things are this this takes planning this isn't something you're like Oh, you know what? I think in in like six months yeah. we'll have it. This isn't something that just that that's just that easy. So these are final plans. So at the very least, they're not doing it next year. I, I highly highly skeptical of that. Twenty twenty five, I'll I'll give you like okay, well maybe final decision have been made on that yet. The person who put out that statement was like, "Fudge, <laughs> supposed to see this? Oh Nobody no, was supposed to see this." I I, um, I I wholeheartedly believe they did not know this would be shown, which is yeah. hilarious because their documents go online so why wouldn't you think people will see this <laughs> like uh, it's good who would have thought that somebody on reset era would have picked this up but it was on the tourism board which goes online people are online and yeah, people like, find everything we like, got things to worry about we got the people <laughs> in the, someone the found Titan, it you know <laughs> I, I guess, I guess. <laughs> anyways um I don't have too much to add. Say, I've long had my moratorium of E3 on this show. I'm very sad. I, it's it's done. Even if it's comebacks, it's not E3. I so it, it doesn't I even. Wish it wasn't done. Oh, I, I wish too. Really I'm wish. right there with you, brother. I'm, I wish I think we could have at least Keely, one more. <laughs> Keely has destroyed the summer. You know, he has he has opening night live. He's got the game awards. Why do he have to kill E3? You know, I don't think he killed it. He just, well, I mean, he his actions killed it, but I don't think that was his motive. Um, I I am one of the people that say that that Keeley killed E three. I don't know. I, I mean, he, like... I guess I guess I'm kind of dancing around it. I guess he did pretty much kill it. Um, I mean, I guess purposely because I imagine there isn't yeah. really a world where both exist, so he had to make his stuff better, which probably wasn't very hard because. The difference is E3 was a place you had to go and pay money to be at, which was very, very expensive. I actually have an entire video about their history and why it went away and what led to its kind of demise. And it, it's pretty much as simple as they got too expensive. They didn't really mm -hmm. do what people wanted. PlayStation left. That was pretty much the death toll. You, The biggest yes. competitor in the entire industry doesn't show up to your event. That's that's bells ringing. So. Yes. Now, uh, of course, I, I'm. I need to say for people that don't listen to my shows or whatever or my content, uh, this is not true at all. Keely didn't kill E3. E3 oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, You're in joking. my head, my head canon Keely 
killed E3. He's right? sharpening they a knife it. to he, go to he E3. He took the knife. <laughs> he took the knife and just stabbed him in the back. <laughs> just taking E3 down. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 that is uh, so sick to say, too. Like, E3 did kill itself. That That's pretty much yeah. the perfect way of doing it. They pretty much didn't pick an identity. They refused to modernize. And they just fell apart. It's pretty yeah. much all you have to really say. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. You know? It is what it is. Of We're of course we end every show with date updates. 